What's up guys and gals? I got a quick video for you today. I'm going to show you how to turn any list, a bulleted list, into something a little more visually exciting with check marks or emojis or whatever you want to use as bullets in place of the boring, you know, black dots that you typically find in a bulleted list, okay? And also, one more thing, I want to make sure I did this video because I'm about to get a haircut and it would be a dang shame if you didn't get to see this before I got it cut, all right? You ready to dive in? Let's do it. This is super easy, you're gonna love it. All right, so I have a, a little box here with a list in it, a little headline, a, a button, but we're gonna focus on the list and specifically these icons. The first thing we need to do is set up a special CSS class to, that we can apply to any list to turn it into a, a special icon or emoji based list, all right? So we're gonna go into our post and do that. So I've got my list here and I'm using the text editor in WordPress because this is the easiest way for me to add a special class to target any list I want to change into a, an icon list. So this is going to be necessary. So you probably work in the visual editor, but in this case, we're gonna need to pop over to text and we're gonna go right here and I'm, uh, here's my list, this UL, I've added class equals checklist. This is important because we're gonna use this class that's called checklist to target the list to change the icons. So once you've done this, this is a little bit technical, but there you go, that's what you need to do. You can save your, save your content, and then when you go to uh, refresh it, it's gonna have that class. Now nothing's gonna happen at first. To, to make visual changes, you're gonna have to target that class with some CSS to change the icon or the bullet into an icon. All right, so I've got some code here. I have prepared a, a, a page, a web page, with all this stuff so you can copy and paste it. It's gonna be linked in the description. So all you need to do is go to my page, I'm gonna show you the page itself here in just a moment, and copy the relevant CSS code, paste it into your environment. Now if you're using Focus, you can just paste this directly into your cut handy custom CSS environment. But if you're using a different platform altogether, maybe not WordPress, or if you're using a different WordPress theme, you can go into appearance, customize, and additional CSS, and then you can paste basic CSS into this editor. Now, what I showed you previously, this custom CSS editor in Focus, this is a more advanced CSS editor, and this can accept something known as SCSS, which is a, a more sophisticated format for writing CSS. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit more compact, a little bit easier to read. Uh, so, so I've got, I've given you code for both of those. We'll take a look at that now. On my little handy page here, you've got your SCSS version you can copy and paste, or the basic CSS version, which you could copy and paste into the additional CSS area in WordPress if you're, again, you're not using the Focus WordPress theme. Okay, so we got our little styles there. I'm gonna show you exactly what we want to look at changing here to get the results you want. So I've, I've added my styles, added my CSS here, and what I've done is I've changed it to a basic check mark. So we're gonna look at this. We will inspect this code real quick. So we've got our little checklist code and we've got this, um, it's a, a CSS pseudo element, the before element here. And so what we've done is we've said, hey list, don't show any bullets. Instead, show this, whatever in this content before each list item and show display this content. Now this is a Unicode symbol reference. It means nothing. Like, you know, 2713 happens to be a check mark, but you wouldn't know that, uh, you know, just, just straight away. So I've also built a reference list so you know what code to input there for your content. So we go back to CSS. Right now I've got 2713. If I want to use a different symbol than a check mark, I'm just going to figure out what symbol I want to use. I'll identify the code here. And then I will replace that in my CSS, you know, with the value that I actually want to use so that I can use one of these different check marks or one of these different icons or emoji or whatever is here. I've prepared a pretty big list. So you've got a lot of options you can, you can work through if you want to play with this yourself. But I want to point out um, what you're likely to find as you mess with this on your own. Like, it, like here's, here's how things work, okay? So right off the bat, I've got, this is, you're, we're looking at the system UI font for Mac. It's called San Francisco. San Francisco is a newer font that was developed in 2018. 
It has a complete character set with special characters for every little thing. So even the arrows and the check marks, they look a little different in San Francisco than they do in other fonts. And we can do some things with this. So right now we're looking at just a basic check mark. We can make it bold. And that changes the, you see how it's a thicker check mark now. I can uh, play with this. So here's not bold, bold, not bold. And you see it makes it a little bit bigger. Now, most fonts, system fonts at least, don't work this way. So most system fonts that we're used to, Arial, Georgia, uh, Tahoma, Verdana, Times New Roman, uh, Tribution MS, I could go on and on. Most of these fonts were developed by Microsoft in the 90s, and Microsoft used an extended character set, meaning like check marks and, and, and goofy other symbols like like all of these guys, all these arrows, they used a single set of characters with all their fonts. So any time you would, ch if you wanted to change the way the check mark looked, for example, you could say, well, I'd rather use the font Tahoma, which is a system font. This doesn't require your website to, if, when you use a system font, it doesn't require uh, you to load up any extra assets on your website so things can still be very fast. So if you're not going to use your regular font, like if you're using a Google font, for example, but you want a check mark that looks different, you should definitely stick with a system font. It doesn't make sense to load up a whole other font that includes a check mark that you like. That would be ridiculous. So really your choices are between system fonts and whatever Google fonts or any other fonts you're currently using. This is like, you know, you know this type of check mark or that type of check mark, okay? So, so when we use the system font, Tahoma, you can see what this check mark looks like. I'll change to Verdana. Oh, it's the same. Tribution MS. It's the same. So Microsoft used the same stuff, the same extended characters in all their fonts. But we can play with this if we get rid of the bold. We can see that the check mark kind of changes character a little bit. It's kind of fun. So you got you got two options here. You can make it bold, not bold. Also, you can change the color. So you can use, uh, a, so I'm using red here. When you use color references in CSS, you can use names, and there's a whole lot of these. Like, there's a zillion named colors, and this is giving you a hint at some of them. Here's pale green, orange red, sea green, slate gray, spring green, blah, blah, blah. There's a million of these. So you can use a color reference, or you can use a hexadecimal reference, like 334487. And then some weird blue. So you could do that. Or you could use an RGB color code. Say like 133, 217, 48. I don't even know what these are. I'm just guessing here. But that changes the color as well. So you can use any type of color reference you want in that color field. I just chose red because it's very basic and it stands out on this particular example. So you can change all that stuff as you will. So I would say figure out which icon you want to use. Get your reference in there. Then play with the font family to see if like, you know, if, if the system fonts have a little bit cooler example of this check mark. Like, like I think the system font, that's kind of a more, there's more character in this check mark than there is in, uh, in San Francisco, which is here. This is a little more basic. This has a little more pizzazz. So you might, you might choose one over the other. So I'm just giving you the tools you need to, to play with this to see, you know, and try bold versus not bold. See if you like that difference. You know, I kind of like the bold here. Looks good. So, most, again, most fonts are not going to have these extended character sets. So, they're just going to borrow from the main ones that have been in use for many years. But occasionally, you may use a font, like a, a particular Google font may have an extended character set. You might be using a font on your site that has a lot of extended characters. Maybe some of these will be included and you get a real fancy check mark that no one else has. The only way for you to know is just to play with them, input some different values and see, you know, if the system fonts look different or if uh, your Google font has a, a bullet that you like or whatever, you can play with that and figure out exactly what you want. And just for the purposes of this tutorial, let's change these check marks into an emoji and, uh, you know, just for fun so we can see how this works. So we're going to use this right pointing backhand index, going to go to my custom CSS, just replace this value. It's so easy. We're going to go over here, we're going to hold shift, hit refresh, and boom, there's our new bullets. These look great. This is a really cool way. So like if I have a sales page and I am reinforcing what the customer is going to get by purchasing this product, 
it's a really cool thing to do here is just to use this type of bulleted list because like the check marks reinforce it or the hand pointing. It's like, hey, this is what you get. This is what you get. This is what you get. It, it gives a little bit more visual information and possibly some more visual reassurance versus just a cold basic bullet point. And obviously there's more, there's more personality embedded in this. So this is a really cool tip to turn any of your boring lists into a much more exciting, uh, handsome list here like these. This is more visually exciting. Use this stuff on your most important pages. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.